So it's salmon release day. We have checked out our site on Google Maps and maybe even Google Earth. We've ensured that we're at a public park or a public boat access, that our site is safe and we have parking for our buses. We've made sure that our site has good, safe access for our students to be able to release fish and checked for any changes. The dam in this picture is actually gone now, so that's a good thing to know. Now we want to check our river levels, so we're going to go to a USGS river gauge on our section of river, and then we can check the flow at that gauge. That is our discharge. So our discharge at this river is about 200 cubic feet per second, which is much lower than the yellow triangles up there, which is the normal level. And then we can check the gauge height, which is kind of the depth of the river at this gauge, which is at 2.45 feet, which is also quite low for this time of year. So we know our water levels are safe. Now we want to get our buckets ready. We want to make sure that our bubblers are charged or have fresh batteries. We're going to drill a hole in the lid for the airline. And I add an extra slit for the little bracket on the back of the bubbler so that I can slide it on so it doesn't fall off in transport. Make sure you have air stones and that the lids snap tightly. Now we want to check out our fish. We want to observe them for stress, make sure they're happy and healthy before we add stress to their lives in those buckets. I draw the water levels down. On the right is a siphon filling the buckets and on the left is a siphon pulling water to the sink. Once my water levels are low and my buckets are full, I can begin netting those salmon out into my buckets. We want to make sure we do this as nicely as possible to stress the fish the least. And we're going to split our fish between multiple buckets. Um, we don't want more than like 50 fish per bucket to reduce stress. Now our little friends are in their bucket ready for transport. We want to drop our air stone in and make sure our bubbler is running. Then we're going to snap that lid on nice and tight and they are now ready for transport and we're gonna transport and keep them in the bucket as little as possible. Make sure your buckets are in securely so that they won't slide around and you have all your gear. Now we can head to the river. We're gonna check our river conditions and check for safety and take our fish down to the riverside. And now we need to do a couple extra steps to make sure that these fish will have the best chance at survival. The first thing we're gonna do is take the temperature of the river and the temperature in our buckets. We want those within just a few degrees. So what we need to do now is acclimate those fish by taking water from the river and adding it to our buckets of salmon. About every 10 minutes or until our temperature in the bucket and the river are similar. Now we have a bunch of happy and healthy salmon that are ready to be released. 